For many NHL goalies, their helmet isn't just a piece of protective equipment. It's a chance to show their personality. The practice of decorating goalie masks dates back to the late 1960s, when Boston Bruins goalie Jerry Cheevers added stitches to his mask. These days, designs are closer to a piece of art than a quick doodle. We have Slimer in there. Franny Drummond is one of a few helmet artists who make designs come to life. His clients include former NHL postseason standout Brian Boucher and Montreal Canadiens prospect Mike Condon. So we kind of put the Band of Brothers on the one side, just kind of a fill-in, the Canadian logo. Drummond's latest creation is for Philadelphia Flyers goalie Steve Mason, featuring some of his teammates transformed into zombies. What I do is first thing is always just find pictures that I can use that would look cool. Drummond, a former goalie himself, understands his canvas well. And then a lot of times, you know, I got to figure out where the strap's going to go so I don't cut off faces. Oh, yeah. Drummond delivered the finished product Back before again. a recent Flyers practice. I've seen a lot of goaltenders uh, mass the years, and uh, seeing his up close and personal, the amount of detail that he puts in there, I'd say it's probably second to none. It's exciting, obviously. You work so hard on, on a mask like that, um, hours, uh, changing things and rethinking things. Um, it's exciting because Mace, Mace is like a big kid like us, so you know he, he can't wait. It's like Christmas time for him. That's why I let him open the bag. Appreciate it. Thanks oh, so anytime, much. Anytime, buddy. Anytime. Mason broke the helmet in a practice, and it made its NHL debut Tuesday night against the Edmonton Oilers, as Mason made 35 saves, earning his first win of the season. Bob McCall, Associated Press.